Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, The Growing Developer. This is in continuation to our code generation series. And the topic for today is Retrofit. Retrofit is a powerful tool that helps you generate your API classes using simple annotations. Why write repetitive API calling code when you can do this using simple annotations? Let's jump into this video and see how we can do exactly that. The Growing Developer. So first thing first, directly go to your pubspec.yaml file and import retrofit JSON annotation and dio as your main dependencies. For our build runner to work, we need build runner, retrofit generator, and JSON serializable as your dev dependency. We have already discussed about JSON serializable in great detail in our previous video. So if you are not familiar with JSON serializable, I highly suggest you watch my previous video. The link will be in the description as well as in a card somewhere. For the sake of simplicity of this tutorial, we'll be using a free API, JSON placeholder. It's a very popular API that gives you access to free get routes, post routes, put, patch, delete routes. And uh, for this video, we're going to discuss get and post. So this is our post class using JSON serializable. We have written our from JSON and to JSON. I'm sorry, we have generated our from JSON and to JSON methods. And about the UI, the UI is pretty plain and simple. On click of this get button, we'll make a get call to the post API. On uh, click of this post button, we're going to make a post call. And get by ID, we'll see how we can actually give it a path parameter. So let's quickly make our service class. We'll make a new file, name it as API service.dart. So we'll say abstract class API service, okay. To tell our tool that this class is actually a API class, we have to annotate it with REST API. So at the rate, REST API. REST API comes from retrofit. Now this annotation has a parameter, which is base URL. So we are going to go to our JSON placeholder API and simply paste our base URL, which will be this. All right, next thing, let's create our constructor. So factory, we'll make a factory constructor, API service. Now the first parameter that this class takes, this constructor would take is our DO instance. Now retrofit is built on DO only. So we are going to use DO here, DO. And then as an optional parameter, we're going to pass a base URL. name the instance all right now you can ignore this error the error will go away once we'll generate our code you know what let's generate the code so that we are free from this error right away so similar to our json serializable package this also stores all our generated code inside a dot g file so we'll say a part directive this will be api service dot g dot dot and let's now run our build runner command. And you can see after running our build runner command, it has generated our code. Now this is still in a very early phases and we haven't even written our first API call. So let's do that right away. So we'll first write our method, which will be, let's say, get posts. Now this post is going to return as a list of posts. So it will be list of post, right? Now, since API calls are asynchronous, we have to also wrap it with a future. Makes sense, it was pretty simple. So our get post method return as a future with list of posts, okay? Now we're going to use some annotations that will tell uh, this class that what method to call and what you will to call. So add the rate, get. Now, this means that this will be a get call and inside the path, we're going to give it as posts. So slash posts will give us a list of posts, okay? Now, I guess that is pretty much it. Let's see generate our code using the build runner command. Mm -hmm. 
you can see the error is gone. And I'm super excited to test this out right away. So let's just test this out. So what we're going to do is we'll say let API service API, sorry. Then we also need the Dio instance. Inside our init state method, we're going to say Leo equals to Dio Dio. It's again your wish. And API service is going to take this Dio instance. And in our get post method, we're going to say final posts equals to await API service dot get posts. Let's just print this out. Posts. We'll do a hot restart. And if I click on get, you can see we get a list of posts. If you want to see this more clearly, let me map this and use in.2json. That's it. Clear this out, click on get again. And you can see that we are actually able to get the list of posts. How easy it was to write my get request. Now let's write our post request. Super excited now. So what we're going to say is, let's quickly see what post does. So if you call this method slash posts using a post method, whatever you send, you get that exactly back. All right. So what we're going to do is we'll say, uh, create post. Okay. And here's the magic. It will take a post model. I'm not writing any conversion logic here. This should in turn return a future of post only. All right, we have the method ready. Now let's annotate this with a post annotation now, since this will be a post request. Post, the path will be slash post. As you can see here, for post request, the path is slash post. All right, now it doesn't know that this is a body okay we need to send this post as a body so we'll annotate this variable as a body now all right makes sense let's regenerate our code using the build render command so you can see we have our method already hidden we'll go to our retrofit demo and in the submit post we're going to create a new post we'll say post post equals to right let me import it and this takes user id let's say to body as blah id as zero title as title sorry title and now what we're going to do is we're going to say final post or other let's rename it as created post equals to await api service dot create post give give it this post and after that simply print this dot to json all right so yeah let's do a hot restart click on post and that's it as you can see that whatever we sent is returned back as suggested by this the source will not really be updated to the server but it will be faked as if so whatever you send you get it back so whatever we sent we got it back that means we were able to successfully make our post request <laughs> and this seriously amazes me this still amazes me that we only we only we have only written two lines of code one for annotations and one for the method and that's it. Now let's get to a tricky one, which is uh, getting a resource by ID. So you can say slash post slash the ID. If we give it the ID, we get that particular post. All right. So how do we write that? So it's the same thing. It is going to, let's first create our method though. 
future this will give me a single post only get post by id all right now we're going to pass a string id here and that's it so similar to the posts call this is also a get request so we'll annotate this with a get the path is same posts and this time this id is actually a part of path so rather than just post we're going to say slash and every path variable has to be inside curly braces so this id now this is whatever is the variable name now this has to match the variable name has to come here and to tell our tool that this id is indeed our path variable we're going to annotate this with a path that means that in the url instead of this id pass the actual id passed pass the actual uh copy the actual id that is passed right so let's regenerate our code using the build runner command sometimes this feel like magic and uh, okay get post by id so we'll say simply it's the same thing now getting a post post equals to await api service dot get post by id id and uh, yeah let's simply print whatever we get all right so on the click of this method i'm actually passing one let me just use two json here so we can actually see what is returned restart the application and click on get by id and now you can see that i got the post with id one all right let's try this posts this gives me a list of all the posts all right and this time i'm going to give it an id six and we should get this let's try that so here instead of one i do six reload clear this out get by id and you can see now this time i got id six so that is pretty much it in just three lines of code we were able to write our own api class how cool is that now this was a very basic tutorial and we have a lot more advanced features and annotations for retrofit probably i will cover that in our coming videos but if you are someone who just want to start off with retrofit this video is going to serve you well so that's pretty much it for this video hope you like this video hope you learned something from this video and please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you are notified every time there is a new video and you can upscale yourself so that will be